With her talent and personality, Betty Aquino soared into the ranks of gymnastics elite. She even designed an original move on the balance beam known as the Aquino. Her name is whispered by aspiring gymnasts everywhere. In her dreams, she sees an Olympic gold. But her body has not allowed her the chance to reach her full potential. Plagued with constant pain, something all gymnasts fear. Well, I, I feel scared for her because she's, I know how much work she's put into it. And also, I'm scared for myself because, you know, it could happen to anyone. You know, injuries happen, and just a lot of times there's nothing you can do about it. But, you know, I'm just praying for Betty and praying for everybody else. And, he can get through this. For the second year in a row, Betty's teammates are at nationals without her. They're filled with competitive energy while Betty is at home, quietly healing her back. It's hard. That's, I think that's probably the hardest part during workout, seeing them get all the attention. And I'm over in the corner trying to do whatever I can, but not getting that much attention. It's tough, but it'll push me to all the more to get better sooner so that I can get the attention too. She has a decent work ethic, but never goes to the extent to put enough intensity on her preparation to overcome some minor problems, you know, like build up, you know, her physical endurance, build up physical strength to extend, to can hold hard landing, to can, you know, overcome, you know, minor uh, injury problems or prevent mostly uh, the injuries, which always been and always will be to her uh, a, one of the, the problems. Bella Caroli has been down this road before. Few people know that Mary Lou Retton had knee surgery only six weeks prior to the 1984 Olympics. Her strength and character guided her back along the path to a gold medal. I thought to myself, I have made it this far. I have sacrificed so much. I've moved away from home. I've done all this. I've got to try. You know, nobody's going to put limits on me. I, I can't live the rest of my life thinking that I gave up at this point. Um, I feel for Betty. She, her career, I mean, she's a beautiful gymnast. She was really just real pleasant to watch. She has just had injury after injury after injury. I mean, no, we're not talking a little broken finger, we're talking big injuries. And anytime you lay off, you lose time. So Betty now has to make up that lost time and is working on regaining strength of body, strength of mind. As Mary Lou says, Betty's still entitled to her Olympic dream next month at trials, everyone will be looking for Betty Aquino's smile again. <laughs>